Google's Notebook LM becomes super powered as you can finally actually guide the audio overview feature. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. Today we get to do one of my favorite things, which is a product feature Friday. There are a couple of exciting updates to various products that are out there in the AI space that I think could have some pretty significant impacts and also happen to reveal what I think are some broader trends as well. Where we want to start is with what I believe is the buzziest AI product we've seen, at least for a business audience, since the launch of ChatGPT, and that is Google's Notebook LM. And to get a sense of how excited people are about this, rather than just taking my word for it with that sort of hyperbole and ChatGPT comparison, I'll turn it over to OpenAI founder Andre Karpathy, who wrote, It's possible that Notebook LM podcast episode generation is touching on a whole new territory of highly compelling LLM product formats. Feels reminiscent of ChatGPT. Maybe I'm overreacting. Now, Notebook LM has actually been around for a while. It's a product from Google that allows you to add a bunch of documents to a single space and convert them into a bunch of different formats. Like you could create FAQs, you could create summary briefing documents. But when things really heated up for Notebook LM was when they added the audio overview feature. They described them as lively deep dive discussions that summarize the key topics in your sources. Everyone else, however, just called them automated podcasts. Almost immediately, people started experimenting with all the different ways they could use this, and these podcast-type conversations that were produced were really good. They feature two hosts who are talking together, who, as many have commented, even have some of the annoying tropes of podcaster interactions. While some people's first question was, is this going to change podcasting? To me, it felt like that question was really missing the forest for the trees. The idea that you can take any document or set of documents and turn it into a simple audio summary creates a totally new modality for knowledge consumption that I think is going to become de rigueur and just common across almost any domain in which knowledge consumption is valuable. Students are going to use this to start studying. Businesses are going to use this to prep their people on new topics that they have to deal with or competitors. In other words, it's not that we're going to get a bunch of podcasts that look like the podcasts of today, just created automatically with Notebook LM. What you're going to get is a massive uptick in general in people consuming audio summaries of topics that are relevant for whatever they happen to be doing or interested in. However, there was one really big challenge in terms of actual applicability for businesses and for content creators like myself. And that was that up until now, there was no way to guide the audio generation. All you could do was press a single button and you had to deal with whatever came out. Turns out more customizability and more guideability of audio overviews was their number one most requested feature, and the team at Google listened. Riza Martin, the product lead at Notebook LM, yesterday tweeted, New Notebook LM updates rolling out today. Pass a note to the hosts. You can now click on Customize in Audio Overviews to give additional instructions, such as focusing on a specific topic, source, or even adjusting the audience it's optimized for. And this is the exact feature that people had been requesting. So now instead of just giving it a mess of documents and hoping it produces something good, I could, for example, request that it hone in on one specific document and give it more credence than the others, even if it took the others into consideration as well. I could guide it to focus on a particular topic within a larger set of conversations. I could let it know that it's for executives who need a very high level summary versus experts who need a lot of details. In short, this is the feature update that makes this much more performant for business. And it turns out that's a good thing because businesses are already flocking to Notebook LM. In that same post, Riza writes that over 80,000 organizations are already using Notebook LM. One of their other announcements then was Notebook LM Business, which is an upcoming version that'll be offered via Google Workspace that has an enhanced set of features for business, university, and organizational use. So what are some of the ways that you could use this? A couple that I shared on LinkedIn. The first is for customer service insights. This idea I cribbed from Ramp, who has been doing this in a much more harder or manual way. But basically, every day, Ramp takes the logs of all of their customer service calls and creates an auto-generated podcast that summarizes the most important themes in five minutes. This gives everyone in the company the chance to get direct feedback from customers every day without waiting through a mass of logs. I think Notebook LM makes that sort of thing viable for basically any company that's interacting with customers. You could simply feed Notebook LM the transcripts from the day or the week or whatever the right time interval is from customer service calls or other customer service interactions and have Notebook LM create a podcast about the most important insights. Given how much direct feedback this is from customers, I think this could be extraordinarily valuable and democratize access to direct customer feedback across an entire organization. Another idea sort of in the same vein 
would be to go a step farther than the sort of meeting transcription and summary that we've started to see with services like Otter and Fireflies, etc. At this point, pretty much every meeting that you're in, I'm sure, whether it's Zoom or Google Meet, has a slew of AI note takers sitting there capturing all the things that are discussed. Now, a lot of those tools do a great job of summarizing the key takeaways, giving you insight into who was speaking the most and what the biggest themes were. But imagine that you're working on some big mission-critical project. And over the course of a given week, there are 10 or 15 different conversations that happen about that project. Now imagine giving Notebook LM all of those transcripts, indeed, maybe even just the summaries from all of those transcripts, and having it create an even higher level summary podcast that gives executives or anyone else in the company the chance to, in just five to 10 minutes, really understand the progress that was made on the project that week. What are the big challenges that remain? It feels like this could be a total game changer when it comes to internal alignment. A third idea that I shared was for a conversational sales pitch. Now, this is something that you could also use ChatGPT advanced voice mode for, but the basic idea here is that most companies have a lot of written collateral about their products or services. But there's a big difference between what you send people to read and the way that you describe things conversationally. A good salesperson or any person who's in a position to pitch something figures out how to translate from that sort of written detail type medium into that more conversational medium. Well, Notebook LM can just do that for you as well. Feed it all of those written materials and see how these auto-generated hosts interact around the product or services benefits in a conversational way. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Once you start thinking about this type of audio summarization, you can't really throw a stone without hitting a new use case idea. When it comes to R&D, one of the things that I think we're already seeing a ton of usage around Notebook LM is people taking very dense academic papers and getting the gist of them, at least getting the starting point in this sort of more conversational format. And then, of course, there are all of the just straight up marketing use cases for this where people could actually be creating their own company podcasts in a much easier way. Anyways, as you can probably tell, I am hugely bullish on this particular tool. I think it's going to beget a ton of really exciting use cases, and it really is one of the more exciting things that we've seen in some time. Now, another really exciting tool is Perplexity, and that company just keeps pushing forward. Yesterday, they announced internal knowledge search and an update to spaces. So internal knowledge search is a huge idea. Perplexity is, of course, a research tool that searches the web, but now with their Pro and Enterprise Pro accounts, you can search not only the web, but internal knowledge databases as well. So all of those past materials, internal research, call notes, etc., all become something that you can search through with Perplexity, and which Perplexity can offer some of this sort of summarization as well. Now, spaces are basically the collaboration hubs for how teams are actually using Perplexity. With a particular space, you can organize research, you can organize files, you can provide custom access to specific people. And they additionally announced that they'd be starting to add third-party data integrations, starting with Crunchbase and FactSet, again, allowing all of this to come together even more. Now, if you're saying to yourself, hmm, it'd be pretty cool to have a Notebook LM style podcast creation embedded in that space as well. Well, it seems like that might be on the way as well, given that CEO Arvan Srinivas said, who wants podcasts on our spaces? I would be shocked if we didn't see this sort of feature basically imminently. I think these two experiences are going to be hugely transformational for companies. I'm incredibly excited to start getting use cases for Notebook LM and for Perplexity Spaces up on Super Intelligent. If you want to learn more about that and how you can get more use case inspiration, check out bsuper.ai. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Until next time, peace.